Here we have iLife 11, released by Apple in October of 2010. Um, iLife 11, a few advancements with some of the software packages such as iPhoto, iMovie and GarageBand. Important note is that iWeb and iDVD have not had any updates. So it's really just these three major uh, applications that we receive in the iLife suite. So I've just taken the plastic off of this, so I'll skip that part, obviously. And inside here, if I have it the right way around, there we go. Designed by Apple in California. And we open this. There's the iLife DVD. And then within the top section here, we have an iLife guide and some Apple stickers and the guide basically tells you how to install it, the system requirements, the installation, Apple care and support information and on the other side just a quick overview of um, how to find answers quickly, get started um, again searching for answers and iLife resources so that's what you get in the package now let's uh, quickly install some of these applications and uh, see how they perform okay so when we insert the DVD into our Mac this is what we're greeted with um, you have a read before you install guide which if we open uh, basically about iLife, the new advancements in a couple of the applications, requirements and copyright information. So if we just quit that. To install iLife you double click the icon here and then we go through the introduction, a quick readme, so this is the same as uh, the readme file we just opened. Um, a license, which obviously we need to accept. Your destination disk and then your installation type. Now at this point you can customize and select certain up, uh, applications rather than the entire suite. Now I only selected iMovie and iDVD because that's all I really use. I don't use iPhoto or GarageBand or iWeb. Um, so iMovie and iDVD are my preferred applications from iLife. You then click install and it goes through the installation and finishes as per normal. Now I've already installed these uh, a few moments ago uh, in, so that in the interest of time I'm going to skip the rest of this installation and we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the applications themselves. Okay so now that I've installed iMovie and iDVD let's just take a quick look. Uh, I'm going to show you iDVD first. Now I know I said this hasn't been updated but I just want to show you so if I create a, a new DVD for example create it should open iMovie so as you can see you've got the same themes nothing's really been updated if I go to about iDVD you can see it's still version 7.1 which was the same as iLife 09 um, all the menu options are still the same uh, you still have all the same themes Yep, no changes there at all. The buttons are still all the same, and so on. So nothing's really changed there. So if I quit from iDVD now, let's take a look at iMovie instead. So if we start iMovie, I just want to go up to the preferences first. Um, and nothing has really changed in the preferences that I can recall, but you may wish to import. When you import video, it's always a good tip to import at the full original size. By default, iMovie will set it at 960 by 540, but just change it to full original size. Um, you'll get a, a little warning at the bottom saying choosing full on this computer may result in degraded video playback, but ignore that. Uh, you always want to edit video in its full original size. So if we quit that, um, I've already imported a video here. So this was the first segment of our video, the actual unboxing of iLife. So uh, if we take a look at this, now looking at the interface, the only major changes that I can really see here are the audio button. So this button down here, if we toggle that, that toggles the audio 
the audio that you can see just underneath the clip. So it toggles that on and off. Now that's the audio there. Now if we go back forward to editing the project, we have another audio button here. So if we select this clip for example and drag it up here, we can toggle the audio on and off by pressing this button here. Once the audio is on, we can play about with it, so simply select it, drag it up and down to uh, to alter the volume levels. We've also got audio adjustments here, where you can uh, fine tune the volume, the ducking, the fading in and out, equalizer and so on. So that's the audio. Now when it comes to the video, you've got a, a few options up here, fast forward, the instant replay feature um, and other special effects. You can also right click on any particular frame and um, I'm sure you've got, there we go, there's the add freeze frame. So a couple of other options there. Now the only other thing I want to show you, if we go to a new project, well here we have all of the themes, for example there's the new sports theme and down here we have all of the movie trailers which are new in iMovie 11 and if you click on one of these it should preview it there in the next screen for us let's try another one So there we go, there's your movie trailers, which is new to iMovie, uh, iMovie 11. So that's a quick overview of uh, iMovie. Other than that, it's uh, pretty much the same as iMovie 09, just with a few added adjustments. Um, so if you're interested in upgrading, I hope that uh, helps you come to a decision on whether you really need these extra advancements over iLife 09 or not. Um, they are quite subtle, um, so whether it really deserves the update um, just for iMovie um, may be questionable. If you're looking to update iPhoto and GarageBand also, then yep, yeah, it's, a, it's a good upgrade. Hope that helps everyone. See you in the next video.